Hey guys, Mike Taylor, broker owner, Red Door Property Management. Today, I'm super excited to bring you the Westfield, Indiana rental market report for June of 2023. So we are in full leasing season and uh, Westfield, as you know, is uh, one of my favorite markets. Uh, own several homes there and it's been on an absolute tear this year. And this month is no different. It's gonna continue the trend here. So Westfield remains a super, super strong market for us. Uh, let's go take a look at the numbers for June. Hey guys, let's take a look at the numbers for uh, Westfield. Indiana rental market report for June of 2022. As I mentioned in the intro, um, still kind of on a tear this year, uh, Westfield, and uh, have not seen really uh, too much negative news come out of Westfield. So that is a very, very good thing. Um, so uh, if we take a look here, top left, active homes, 80 homes on the market. That is really good, really sustainable. It's up about, um, I think it was like 60 about two months ago. But, uh, you know, it's June's the height of the selling season. And so this is when most of the activity uh, takes place is uh, is in the summertime. So 80 for the middle of June. Very, very sustainable. Uh, bottom left average rent, twenty two hundred bucks. Uh, that's actually down slightly from um, June of twenty twenty three. So down two percent. Um, but I'm not super, super concerned, as you can see. Uh, we always get a little sneak peek here. So July is trending up back up again. Um, uh, so I'm not super, super concerned with that small little dip and we're up, um, seven, seven and a half percent over, over last year. And if you look in the middle here, this, this kind of trend line here is that's 2023, this is 2022. So we are well above even 2022's numbers, which, uh, as everybody knows, we had a crazy run up in rental prices, um, last year and we saw 20, 30% uh, in certain areas. And so we're still above that. So that's super, super encouraging for the Westfield market. Uh, and another piece of good news is average days on the market remains really, really low 24 days on the market. That's very healthy. Um, I just did a video for Indianapolis, go check that one out. And I think it was 124, uh, literally. So, uh, check that video out because there's a, a totally different market in Indianapolis than there is in, um, in Westfield, which is why it's so important to do, um, to do these sub market reviews. Um, cause you can't just talk about oh the Indianapolis market is good or it's bad. It really, really depends on the sub market that you're in. Um, and then, uh, heading down to average sales price. Uh, this is the only part that's a little bit of a bummer. I mean, it's good if you own homes, it's bad if you're trying to buy a home. Um, the average sales price is, um, at 377, 698. Now, what's kind of shocking is that that's actually down 4% from June of 2023, um, but it is up uh, 1% from 2022. So we'll keep an eye on that. We don't do as much of an in-depth on the sales as we do on the rentals, uh, but it is something that we need to obviously keep an eye on because it, it does have a huge, uh, a huge impact. So if it continues to go down, that might be a good opportunity to purchase um so we'll keep an eye on i'm not concerned westfield's uh, the market's not going anywhere it's a very strong market with lots of demand good schools it's got good fund good fundamentals there so i'm not concerned that that's that's like gonna go rock bottom or anything like that so uh there we have it there's the market report for um for westfield for june of 23 continues to pump out and continues to be on a tear we'll see what happens next month